Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3 with our Generation 3 heir, Basil, here with his mate Catalina and their three surviving puppies, Badger, Argon, and Rosetta. Oh, you guys. I still am so sad for Basil because not only did he lose Mouse, his daughter, but he also ended up losing his lifetime dream of being able to keep all of his puppies alive. And oh, look at that! Of being able to keep all of his puppies alive. But as his mate Helena was trying so hard to tell him last time, life goes on. And even though Basil is in a very deep sense of depression right now, everything seems so barren around him. Even after a forest fire of grief, new life starts emerging. And sometimes those fires, even though they are devastating on the one hand, make us stronger on the other. Clearing out the underbrush, making things even more obvious that we should really care about. And in Basil's case, I think he's realizing that because the world is so dangerous, it is very important for him to teach his children how to survive in it. A lot of the life that he's had with them so far it was playful it was really fun he was proud and had a lot of fun with his pups kind of you know more like they were all just on vacation all the time and now he really really understands that truly loving and protecting his pups means making them stronger so let's go ahead and today we're going to see if we can work on getting these guys up to 15 pounds we're also going to need to establish ourselves a healthy boundary i think that that might be the biggest thing basil's dreaming about right now he needs to feed the kids and he also needs to make sure oh look at catalina he also needs to make sure that these two are creating a big, healthy boundary around their new territory because we really haven't established ourselves very much. And unfortunately, the Crevice Lake Pack is quite close. So we need to spread out. We need to build a bit of a buffer to protect our kids. And we also need to go find some food. Meanwhile, Badger has definitely put on the weight. I think he put on a lot of that because he developed such strong muscles having to make the huge treks and adventures that they have done from den to den. But Argon is not very far behind. So there's a good chance that we'll be able to get all of these little ones ready for the summer hunting ground and strong enough very soon. For now, We'll leave them in the den. I don't know if Cat like if Basil has it in his heart right now to go ahead and start howling. And let's set off to strengthen up some of the territory first things. We'll also, aha, look at this. All right, it's just a bull elk herd. So we're not gonna bother with a bull elk herd, but Basil would be very happy to do some hunting with Catalina and she's coming with us too. All right, so yeah, just the bull elk herd, not worth paying attention to. However, there is a mule deer nearby. And it is also the season when we might start stumbling upon some babies, some fawns, and some of the elk calves. So some deer fawn and some of the elk calves that could potentially be in the area. So we'll keep an eye out for them too. Let's see, so going to the north would strengthen up our section there. Okay, so we'll head that way, northwest. There we go. What do we smell? That's just the bull elk herd. We'll ignore them. And we're actually going to try to mark our territory first, because there's a good chance that we might stumble upon some food. Aha! That we might stumble upon some food, like I just said, while we're marking our territory, because there's a bunch of mothers about with their babies. So let's actually see if we can find a good spot around here. So she's got a fawn hidden somewhere nearby. And now we just need to search the grasses. I think Basil would be really excited about this because he would now see being able to provide this food to his children as them having a chance to become stronger. Over here, where this tree is? No. All right, let's see. What about over here? This spot? No, it doesn't even get our attention. All right, where or oh, where could the little calf be? Or the fawn in this case? Over here? No. 
Ah, it might be in their territory. So we'll start marking over here just to try to decrease that. What about here? What about here? No, and I wonder if we're getting too far away from the mother. Ah, oh, come on, come on, we could really use this food. Alright, where's that mule deer? If we don't lose track of her... Alright, there's a rabbit we can at least eat. Catalina really wants to be able to chase this mule deer and eat it. We're going to eat this hair carcass because Basil's no longer going to turn down any type of food. And we just need to find where she has hidden her baby. Ah, this is the first time these two have had to do this and it is very tricky. I always tend to underestimate how far off the fawns can be hidden. Ah, there's a spot down here. And if we can just figure that out, I think at this point we might end up eating the mule deer. <laughs> Where'd she go? You know what I need to do? I need to mark where the mule deer is on the map, and then I'll be able to like triangulate using that, because I think we just lost her! Heck! And now we're literally like chasing our own tail. How frustrating. There was a whole herd of mule deer this way. And there's no fawn over here. So yeah, we do need to establish ourselves in some new territory. There goes a coyote. Heck! And now I don't even know where the deer went. There's another coyote. We get so turned around trying to like search out these spots. Man, okay. Alright, next time we try a new tactic. And I, I mark where the deer is on the map so that we can keep track of it. Now we need to go northwest. And I think Basil's now a little frustrated that we passed up. Oh, wait, there she is! Is she anywhere nearby another spot? Okay, so. If we put mama deer right here can we get in let's see can we find where she has her baby we'll give this a last try and then i think basil just wants to like take down the mother but if we can find that fawn it's just such great food for our babies all right over here i really feel like we've gone in most areas and the deer will run towards us if we get too close to her baby. Alright, she's right there. Where has she left it, Catalina? Right here? Ah! Alright, I think we're gonna give it like two more spots. And then if we don't find it, like right over here. Now we're outside of the zone, because the music stopped. All right, time to go eat the deer. We gave it a good try. Basil is a little frustrated because it's very difficult to try to find them. And we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna hunt this deer. She gave us the opportunity. I know that her baby is probably nearby and that would be a better meal, but there we go. It'd be nice if when you bit her, she like ran towards the baby to some degree, but that's not how it works. However, she is basically a standing target, and even though this is more work, and it's not going to allow the kids to eat. There we go. I think there's another mule deer over there who's actually working on her food, or like raising her fawn too. Good job, Catalina. Catalina works so hard to try to like get in here. All right, come on, come on, you two, you've got this. I think if we could bring back a bigger hunt for the pups, Basil would start howling again and maybe feeling pretty proud. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna territory mark real quick. How close, okay, and I'm gonna territory mark one more time. Oh, one more time. 
more time, one more time, come on. Yes, all right, there we go. Basil would definitely want to secure the back, like secure the exit before we go ahead and get a move on. Meanwhile, we're, we're going to fill up on all of the food that we can get from here. And then as soon as we find a nice fawn or a an elk calf that we can take back to the pups, we will. But for now, we're just going to let these two fill up. Wow, they were really hungry. That hardly left any food. Like, they 100% finished that. Yeah, we're going to need a little bit more food if we're going to be able to provide our pups with some substance. So let's carry on searching for more spots that we need to solidify, maybe make our own, to keep at bay the crevice lake pack. And I think right behind us is a good spot. So we need to go west and then we'll enter a new territory that will also majorly benefit from us going ahead and finding where the scent marker is. So let's do this. There it is. All right, let's run and grab it. Oh, there's a den nearby. I'm pretty sure we've been at some of these dens before because this is actually where... Oh, there's another mom. Okay, scent mark first to make this area our own, if possible. And then we'll go ahead and as we look for another fawn, because there's the mama deer right over here. So she's kind of like centrally located. All right, new mama deer. Hopefully. All right, 29%. It'd be really convenient if we could just find... Oh, hey, that's one of the ways where we can actually mark it where we've been before. We'll leave a little scent mark, of course. That's gonna help us try to like claim all of these spots and it is going to let us know if the fawn is anywhere nearby or not. Cause we'll, we'll be able to just turn on scent mode real quick. Ah! How many? All right, this way Catalina. If it's two, that might be more wolves than we want to fight. But I, I think Basil, he might try to go ahead. All right. I'm going too deep into the territory. Let's go up north. Darn it. Okay, just when I managed to have a eureka moment at figuring out what we could do. I think Basil would actually check out how strong they are. So one is the alpha. Come on, Catalina. Don't you attack Catalina. You are not allowed to attack Catalina. Yeah, I think Basil, I think in his sorrow of losing his pups, or his pup mouse, He's not going to put up with this. If the Crevice Lake Pack wants a fight, he's going to deliver a fight. Because I think that he's just... He's got a little bit of his mom parsley in him without knowing it. Alright, let's shake her off. And then... Wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Now he's trying to attack us. Good job, Catalina. Let's see if we can shake them off. Ah! This is a huge fight! Holy cow! This is a big fight. Okay. But I think Basil, he's not having any threat to his children anymore. Even if it means fighting other wolves. Which is not something he would normally do. All right, wait for our stamina to come back. We need to go work with Catalina. Wait for it. Get off our meat. All right, because they're teaming up on her now. Oh, man. Maybe this is letting his, like, rage get out. Oh, man. Okay, this is a complicated fight. There we go. All right, Catalina, be careful. Because she could also get killed in this. All right. Keep going. This is a huge fight. What the heck? Basil, this is like a monumental moment in his life. What? Okay, didn't expect such a gigantic fight from this. But Basil's not going to back off. 
He's actually got a lot more health and stamina than I expected from this, too. Is he gonna end up becoming like his mother at the last minute? Oh my gosh. He, like attacking the alpha of the crevice leg pack. All right, let's see. Oh, they're both attacking. This is the alphas. So they're both attacking the alphas of the crevice lake pack. Oh, you guys. And Basil's got a little more endurance than I thought, but not a terrible huge amount. This is really a vicious fight, possibly to the death. Is this is this going to be Basil's new life? We're going to have to find out. It's all right, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I think things are getting really intense between the crevice lake alphas and our dark moon alphas. If you guys could, do please leave a like for Basil and Catalina winning this fight. There they go. And we'll have to see what Basil thinks about this from here on out. No more threats to his pups if he can help it. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Basil. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.